it's Brie with Calafia Candle Company. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a follow-up video on the Eco Advance Sealer. I did get a lot of comments on the first video I posted reviewing this sealer for updates, and I finally got around to making an updated video for you guys. So this will include the application process, pouring the candles, and also burning the candles. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I just poured some of the Eco Advance into this bowl and I have two jars here. I made these probably a month ago, so they are definitely ready to be sealed. And in the last video that I did on this, I did get some kind of weird spotting going on. So I'm gonna try to move quickly with it and really wipe them down well after I dip them and see if we can avoid that. So I'm gonna take this first one and give it a dip, kind of roll it around in there too. Take it out, kind of let what I can drip off of it. And then just taking a microfiber towel and wiping down any drips Too. Okay, so I'll let that one dry and then we'll dip it again onto the second one here. And I will be showing the whole process in this video. So letting these cure and then I'll pour candles in them and then light them when they're ready to burn as well, just to kind of have it all in one video. I did post written updates um, after my last video on this sealer. You can find those in the community tab, but I think it'll just be more convenient to have everything in one video for you guys. Okay, I'll come back when those are dry and ready for their second dip. Once again, I'm just so pleasantly surprised at how fast this dries and how easy it is to use. I think maybe five minutes have gone by and they are dry and ready for the second dip. And when I was sitting here just waiting, I was looking at the bottle and just seeing safe for use around plants, pets, and people. That's just so reassuring to use something that is safe for all of those things. Kind of like the Earth Safe Finishes one too. It's non-toxic and safe to use. I just feel so much better about using a product like that um, and using this for its intended use as well. So that's just something that's important to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the first one and take it in the solution for its second application. So I'm just working it in in circular motions. And it seems like the vessels don't really take that much of the solution. So I feel like this jug is gonna last a really long time. And for the amount that you get, it really is affordable. I know that's the one gripe a lot of people have with the Earth Safe Finishes sealer is that it is a little bit pricey. Um, but with that one too, I feel like a little bit goes a long way but this one is definitely more affordable for the amount that you get. Okay, so we'll let that one dry and on to the second one. All right, so I'll give those a few minutes to fully dry and then we'll come back and see the results. Okay, I changed direction to try and get more natural light, but I don't think it really made a difference. Um, anyway, this is how it turned out. So you can see a couple little spots here. That's just from the concrete jar. I think that's like titanium dioxide that didn't get fully mixed in. So it looks really smooth and even, and I don't see any visible water spots anywhere. So really happy with how this turned out. And just for comparison, I'll put it next to an unsealed jar 
And the only difference I really notice is the color is slightly different in the sealed jar and the feel. So this is that raw concrete feel and then the sealed one. It has a really silky finish and just feels really smooth. So overall really happy with how this turned out again. And I will pour candles in them tomorrow and then wait a few days for those to cure. I won't cure them the full amount that they need just because it's for testing. Okay, sorry. What I was trying to say is that I'm not going to cure these as long as I normally cure candles just because I'm only using these for the example of this video. So I'll pour candles in them tomorrow because this needs to cure for 24 hours at least. And then I'll give it a few days and burn the candles and I'll film the results for you guys. And yeah, so I'll check back in tomorrow when it's time to pour the candles. I did share on Instagram, but I figured I'd share on here with you guys too. This is our new addition, Lola. She just retired as a canine for the arson and explosives unit. So she is seven years old and she's gonna live out the rest of her life. Super spoiled with us here. And Colette loves her and is super happy to have a companion. She's nibbling on my fingers right now. What are you doing? But she's super sweet and loving and I feel really lucky that we have added her to our family. So you'll probably be seeing her more in my videos too and don't mind my socks. <laughs> All right, so it's been a few days since I poured these candles. I just went ahead and lit them a few seconds ago. And again, I would normally cure them for longer, um, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just lighting them after a couple days just so we can see how the sealer holds up with the candles burning. So, so far so good. There was no seepage anywhere on either of these jars and I'm expecting no seepage while the candles burn down as well. And we'll check back in and see how they look later on. <laughs> Okay, so we are nearing the end of the third burn, or actually at the end, um, it just hit the four hour mark. And as you can tell, these are ready to be extinguished, but just wanted to give you guys another update. There is still no seepage and the jars look just as they did in the beginning when we first started our burn testing. So really pleased with this sealer again and I think I will be making the switch over to this. It's just a lot easier and more efficient than the EarthSafe one. One thing I will note is this seems to stain a little bit more than the EarthSafe one. Um, you can see the very top of the jar where that wax initially was sitting. The stain is definitely more prominent than my jars that use the Earth Safe one. But when using the concrete jars, I do find that staining is inevitable. I get that question a lot that there's a ring left around where the wax was. And I find that personally unavoidable and it doesn't really bother me too much. But just something to note here if that is something that's going to bother you. Um, you can also see it on this jar here. I'll try to find a jar in my studio using the EarthSafe one that I've burned a little bit to do a little comparison, um, but I just thought I'd point that out. But other than that, everything has truly been a dream with this sealer, so really impressed with it. 
Okay, so the one in the middle is one that I was burning earlier, and it's a little bit hard to tell because they're not all the same color jar, but I do feel like the Eco Advanced ones are a little bit of a darker stain, and my thinking on that would be because it's a penetrating sealer, whereas the Earth Safe one actually leaves a finish on the inside of the jar, so the stain isn't gonna be as prominent, but that's not a deal breaker to me. I personally don't really mind. Um, but to anybody that that might be an issue with, just wanted to make note of that. But like I said, I do think that staining is inevitable with concrete jars. I've found them to stain no matter what sealer I use. Um, but yeah, just wanted to point that out. Well, that concludes the video. I hope you guys found it helpful and enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.